hello hello welcome back to my channel the was in the back there we are walking into costco right now because i actually have an eye exam there i've had a lot of unexplained dizziness recently so i'm going to get my eyes checked i haven't had them checked since about a month after i had theo and i got an updated prescription so i'm assuming my prescription is probably out of date again i don't know we're gonna find out right now but my appointment is in like is in like 10 minutes so i'm gonna run in there and i will update you when we get out i just left the eye doctor and my vision did change and she actually asked me if i had lost weight since last time i was there which i was like one month postpartum last time i was there so i have lost weight and I mentioned in one of my last videos that I am consciously trying to lose weight right now, like the rest of the baby weight. So it was interesting. She said that that can cause your vision to change. My footage just started getting really shaky. So I figured I would just pop in after the fact and kind of share what I was thinking in that moment. When I was pregnant, I just really started suffering with my mental health. I was really anxious about everything like waking up in the middle of the night every single night with awful nightmares catastrophic thoughts all the time and i ended up on medicine and in therapy which was the best decision for me but obviously i'm now almost a year postpartum and i don't want to be on medication for the rest of my life if i don't have to be and my doctor personally prefers that i'm off of the medication for the first trimester next time I get pregnant. And so it felt like I should just wean off sooner because otherwise I'm going to have to wean off while also being pregnant, which you just never know what the first trimester is gonna bring, whether you're like sick or tired or whatever. So the thought of like having those withdrawal symptoms and dealing with first trimester pregnancy sounds terrible. So I decided that I wanted to wean off. I tried a couple of months ago and I ended up with insane headaches every single day. I had a headache for like five days straight and I was waking up in the middle of the night feeling really anxious. So I hopped back on it, but then my prescription ran out and then randomly the CVS that I've gotten my prescriptions from for the past, I don't know, seven years closed. So they transferred my prescription to a different one and I tried to get it to a different pharmacy closer to me. Anyway, long story short, I ran out and my prescription was not transferred for a couple of days. In the meantime, I was thinking it's already been a few days. I haven't been having the anxiety and I haven't had the headaches. I should just try and wean right now. So I did and I started having a lot of dizziness, which I did look and that's also a symptom of weaning off of this medication so i just assumed that it would go away but it was pretty intense a lot of times like i had to pull over when i was driving a couple of times because i would just get so dizzy that i felt like i i felt like i was drunk and there were times that i would sit down and i felt like the room was spinning it was truly like young 20s sarah after a long night partying and feeling that like spinning sensation except being sober and like trying to take care of my child in the middle of the day it was like very weird very very weird situation i ended up calling my doctor and she told me that i should go to an ent but um, adam was like have you gotten your eyes checked recently and you have to get them checked like every year for contacts anyway and so i was coming up on that time so i figured i would just go and get them checked and that is why i went and got them checked and sure enough my prescription was different but now it's been actually i think it's been two weeks today since i've been off the medication and it's been like four days of my new contacts prescription and i'm still having some dizziness but it is so much better so i kind of do think that it was coming off of that medication i'm going to give it another week and if i'm still having dizziness then obviously i'm going to go and see somebody else anyway that is all i wanted to talk about when i was in the car one of the things that i really really want to do on my channel now that i've kind of like opened up I'm just going to post whatever I want to post is that I do want to have some like real talk conversations with you guys about anything in life. And I've done that a little bit with like my gender disappointment video and my uh, things that I was doing to cope with being anxious and fearful during pregnancy, but I want to continue that. And so since we are sitting here talking about uh, medication and pregnancy and anxiety and depression and all of that mental health stuff, I figured I would just put this out here that if you are 
pregnant or postpartum and you are struggling if you're anyone struggling but I know that a lot of times when you're pregnant and you're postpartum your emotions are just everywhere so if you are struggling definitely definitely talk to your doctor it's one of the easiest things for them to help you with it seems like it's so complicated because our minds are so complicated but truly they can help you so quickly so please reach out if you are struggling it is so worth the phone call okay let's get back to going to Ulta and Michael's <laughs> for a nap let's take a nap i just put theo down i'm sure he's probably still falling asleep but i wanted to show you what i got from alta and we did stop in michael's too i got the super goop unseen sunscreen i've heard so many people say this is amazing under makeup so i'm gonna give it a try and then i got a refill of my hourglass mascara i'll link both of those below um they didn't have any of the nars foundations they they didn't have a lot of the stuff i wanted so that's okay, I will order it online, not a big deal. From Michaels, I got a paint pen. I already used this one up, so I just needed a refill. And then I got this. I'm doing a project for Theo's birthday party, which I am doing a full video on that, so I'm not gonna show the project here, but hopefully it'll work for that. And then I got this cookie cutter. I'm actually making cookies for Theo's birthday, but I am gonna make some of these for my brother-in-law and future sister-in-law because they're engaged they're getting married later this year and i'm going to be make cookies for theo's birthday so i figured i would make some for them as well <gasps> you say i'm up from my nap i worked on the goodie bags for his birthday party and now adam is making dinner and i think we're gonna get dairy queen after dinner he's making i don't think we've shown this recipe before it's like a jalapeno salsa chicken so i will show you when it's done yeah i'll link the recipe below Hi. Hi. This is what the salsa looks like. So jalapeno, onion, uh, pineapple, and I think it has like lime juice in it. Is that better than all of your toys? Huh? Is that better than all your toys? <laughs> I mentioned in my other video that I'm doing trying to eat healthier and count my calories. This is a must have. We got ice cream. You're on candid camera. What's it called? Is that what it's called? Unfortunately, our dairy boy can't have any. Is that yummy pancakes? Did you have some of this yet? Yum. Adam made it vegan banana oat pancakes and sausage this morning for breakfast because somebody is allergic to eggs and dairy <gasps> is it you <laughs> yeah raise your hand if it's you <laughs> moment of truth i am trying out that unseen sunscreen for the first time i'm just going to throw on some cc cream i just put on my origins ginseng moisturizer i forgot to do that first so Okay, now let's try this. It is clear, which I guess, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. It feels like a pore filling primer. That's like the exact consistency. It feels like it's just filling in all of my pores. Okay, that's it. It doesn't feel super tacky. Hey. Hi. Do you wanna say hi? Someone is ready for the lake. <gasps> you. We've got his little sunglasses, and then this is the best container if you want to bring snacks for your kid. You can just open up one section and then move it around. Okay, I need to fix this hair, obviously, but um, it looks fine. That sunscreen looks fine under my makeup, so that is a win. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, but I have that, which I think is 40 SPF, and then I have 50 <laughs> SPF in my sunscreen over that. Off to the lake we go. You're cool, dude.